I, Clint, the loved son of the one true king, take you, Avery, to be my wife. I, Avery, beloved daughter of the one true king, take you, Clint, to be my husband. I promise to love you and to put your needs above my own. I promise to love you and to choose you because God loved and chose me first. As we do life together, I promise to keep God at the center of our relationship, knowing He is the one and only source of truth and love. I promise to put your needs above my own as we serve God together each day and do more to further His kingdom with one another than we could do apart. I promise to lead us on a path that aligns with God's plans for us and not on one compelled by our own worldly desires. And no matter what life throws our way, I promise to give you my all, always choosing you, always pursuing you, and always fighting for you. As together, we choose, we pursue, and we fight for our relationship with our Father in Heaven. I promise to stand by your side, no matter what life throws our way, knowing that neither life, nor death, nor angels, nor demons can separate us from the love of our Father. I say yes to you today, knowing that you are God's best for me, and the greatest gift that I will ever receive apart from my salvation in Jesus Christ. I'm grateful and beyond excited as today we begin our lifelong submission competition. I promise to be yours and yours alone until death takes one of us from the other. And on the day when you see God face to face, I promise to have played a part in Him saying to you, well done, good and faithful servant. And on that day when you see God face to face, I promise to have been a part in God saying to you, well done, good and faithful servant. Love endures, love is humble, love seeks to do kindness to the other, and love rejoices in the truth moving forward. One author on marriage describes it, that one day you'll stand together not before a minister, but before the Lord. And as your fine clothing now symbolizes, you'll turn to see each other without spot or blemish. And you'll hear God say, well done, good and faithful servants. Over the years, you have lifted one another up to me. You sacrificed for one another. You held one another up with prayer and thanksgiving. You confronted each other. You rebuked each other. You hugged and you loved each other and continually pushed each other toward me. And now look at you. 